Now we're going to look at an economy which has a surplus on its current account, what the consequences are of that. Remember the current account is part of the balance of payments and it looks at the money that's coming into the country and the money that's leaving the country because of exports, imports, income flows from dividend, interest and profits and transfers. This is addressed in a different video, what makes up the whole of the current account. And if you have a current account surplus, that means that the money that's coming into your country is greater than the money leaving your country because of these four things. Therefore, you have a surplus. And there are a lot of positive things about having a current account surplus, but there are also some negatives. It's not all good. An example of an economy that has a current account surplus would be Germany. They tend to export a lot of manufactured materials and that's part of the reason why they have this surplus on their current account. If you've got the current account surplus it's likely that you're seeing an increase in your exports and a decrease in your imports. Also an increase in income flows coming into your country and an increase in transfers coming into your country. The positives about this, the first one is that you'll be seeing an increase in the quantity demanded of your domestically produced goods and services. This is for two reasons. Firstly, you'll be exporting more. Because you're exporting more, you will be producing more domestically. Equally, because you're importing less, that means that quite a lot of people within your country might be choosing to buy domestically produced goods and services rather than the ones that have been imported. This will lead to a decrease in unemployment. When unemployment falls, that means more people have an income. And as a result, tax revenue will go up because these people who now have a job will now be paying income tax. Also, they'll be shopping more and therefore VAT receipts will go up. And as they shop more, the businesses will make more revenue and therefore more profit and corporation tax will go up. Also, because less people are unemployed, you'll have a decrease in job seekers allowance or unemployment benefit being paid to people. And therefore, the government will have more money that they can spend in other areas like healthcare or education. Another positive about having a surplus on your current account is that you are going to have a decrease in the amount of debt that you might have had because more money is coming in than money going out. Moving on to the negatives. So they're not just good things about having a current account surplus. There can also be bad things as a result of this. One of them is that you might have more inflation. And this will be demand pull inflation. This is because as you're exporting more of your goods, there's more demand for your products. Quantity demanded has gone up and therefore demand overall for your products goes up and this can lead to demand pull inflation if you can't keep up production with the demand. The second thing is that this current account surplus may, we're not sure, but it may be due to protectionist policies and that could lead to long-term political problems. What this means, having protectionist policies, is that you've put things in place to limit the amount of imports coming in. For example, you may be putting tariffs on imports. That means that it's like a tax being placed on imports to make them more expensive and less attractive to the consumer. Another thing, they might be putting quotas in place. This limits the quantity of things being imported and usually that means they're just less available to buy. It might also increase the price of those. All of these things would decrease imports. If these protectionist policies have been put in place, in the long term, the countries that they have been put in place against, they may retaliate and therefore your country might not be able to export so much in the longer term. So actually, this increase in exports may stop and reverse. Another thing that would be bad 
about having a surplus on your current account, finally, is that it may increase the value of your currency. As the quantity demanded of your goods and services went up, that will cause the demand for your currency to go up as well. If the demand for the currency goes up, that causes your currency to get stronger. If the currency gets stronger, then your exports are more expensive and that might make them less attractive to people abroad and less internationally competitive. With all of this, as with looking at a current account deficit, you need to think to yourself, how long has this surplus endured for and is it a concern because of that if it hasn't been going for very long your surplus then you may not have as many of these negative issues if it's been going for a longer period of time you might need to start thinking about these negatives and trying to reverse them